This is what I've got so far on the Cougar, Desert Cougar. This is an actual vehicle, or at least pretty close to it, that, uh, that I really like that Jurassic Park made a version of back in the day. It has its shortcomings, like for instance, it has no cab, but instead has this stupid place where it, for a gyrosphere to go, which is totally stupid. And so I have to uh, find a vehicle that has a, uh, an inside part to put there. But you deal with what you got, right? <laughs> so I'll do that. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm creating the back for it, which will go cover this, this area right here. Okay, so now I'm gluing on the turret. As you can probably tell, that's the turret from the Armor Up Sunny Day Sound Beat. Because I had an extra, because I made another crow's, net, uh, crow's turret one. And so I've been using Centriboard uh, for, aka styrene, for the back area. And uh, it's always handy. It comes in handy. Whenever I run out of it, I always wish I had more. And it's cheap too, so it's super useful. All right, so it's complete now. Um, I've always really liked this Jurassic Park vehicle, except for the fact that it has no cockpit, but other than that, you can just build one. This is my third, I believe, kit bash of this vehicle, and uh, happy with how it turned out. Pretty much very similar to the other ones I made, but this time I used styrene and 3D printing to create a uh, back area. It's kind of got a gap in it, which I don't like, but whatever. Can't be perfect. Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good and all. So uh, that door does not open, but it looks like it does. I would pull the top off, and there's two little troop benches in there, but uh, I don't really want to because it's hard to get back on. Uh, I've got a backboard, which is an easy 3D print. Uh, I've got my uh, turret in the top with the guy in it. And uh, this, of course, I'm sure you're well aware, opens. And we've got a... Didn't really do anything with the engine this time. I did the last two times, but not this time. Got the guy in there. That's that. It's a little more difficult to do one-handed. And then, this is the front of the vehicle. It's got a lot of lights on it, which I like. Just little uh, uh, craft stickers from Marshalls or uh, Michaels. That's right. And then it's got an exhaust on this side. And it's got a spare tire on the top. And a little uh, resin uh, container. And it's got real reflective uh, rear view mirrors, which I used a little reflective plastic that I had for those. And then you can kind of see this better in the back area with the door that you can, the troops can jump into and the rear tail lights. Yeah, happy with how it turned out. Luckily it wasn't a fail. I occasionally have my fails. But anyway, let's back out a ways because this nature area I'm in is kind of cool. It's on a big hill. And then there's the nature area. It's a little pond area in uh, South Carolina. Thank you for watching.